Hey guys, it's Brandy with Eternal Harvest, and I'm here to show you how I turned my dark cabinets into white cabinets. Stay tuned, I'll show you how. Okay, so I'm just gonna really quickly go over the items that you're gonna need for this project. I'm gonna start with a paint roller. I got the four inch with a couple of the foam attachments that are best for cabinetry. You're gonna want a two inch too. There's some really thin areas that are gonna need this to cover. You're gonna want some sandpaper to sand the cabinetry first. You're gonna need a drill to remove hardware. I grabbed a roll of this brown paper to cover any areas where I didn't want paint, so like over my stove, over the countertops, flooring, etc. You're gonna want some of these brown hangers. I got those from my local store, and I think I got a pack of maybe four or five for a few bucks. You're actually gonna use these with some eye hooks to hang your cabinet so you can paint both sides without having to wait for one side to dry before doing the other side. It really speeds up the process, makes it really great. Which brings me to my next item, which is a sprayer. And I'll explain that in my next clip, but I do have a compressor, so I use this purple sprayer from Harbor Freight. There is a plug and go option, which is the home right as well. Other than that, unless you want some plastic throw across your flooring, um, then you just need your primer and paint. The Zinsser Bullseye is what I would recommend. It covers stains and it's just a really great primer. I use it on a lot of my woodworking projects as well. And this Benjamin Moore Advanced Paint is a water-based enamel and so far we've had our cabinets for a few months. I've washed them quite a few times and this paint has been awesome. It dried really hard, it's got a good clean finish and it turned out really beautifully. So I would definitely recommend this paint. I'd like to add before we get started really quickly that I use this Harbor Freight Purple Sprayer and I have a compressor, so that made it really easy. If you don't have a compressor or one of these sprayers, you're gonna wanna get the Home Right sprayer from Harbor Freight. It's a plug-in sprayer, a plug-and-go, and pretty easy to clean and easy to use. And as I go through this process, you'll use it in the same way as this purple sprayer. So here you can see how dark the cabinets were to begin with. It was a great color and I liked it for a while, but it was time for a change. And you can see how worn. We've been in the home about seven years, so it was time to update everything. I was a little worried about coverage with these dark cabinets, and it actually turned out really well, and I'm really happy with the paint that we used. So I'll go over that process here in the rest of the video. So I started by washing all the cabinets, scrubbing really well with some light dish soap and a lot of water. The dish soap helps to degrease everything and get everything nice and clean before painting. You're going to want to take a minute and mark all of your cabinets. This is cabinet two, this is cabinet one, and once you have each one numbered, so I've gone around and made a little map of my cabinets. One, two, three, four, five, six, etc. And that way you can also mark the corresponding door and it's hardware in a baggie so that when you go to put everything back you know where it is that can be a little tricky and also where it goes um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest of these cabinets now and all of the hardware and back them kind of a process so here I'm removing all the hardware with my drill and I drop all the screws but don't worry I collect them all at the end <laughs> And I put everything for that one door into the corresponding baggie just to keep it all together when it's time to put things back together. I was a little worried about the process of removing the hardware, but it turned out to be really simple. Just a few screws and the whole unit just popped out and was able to put it in the baggie. After the hardware was off, I sanded everything down really well. Okay, I've done one whole coat of primer and as you can see it's still pretty see-through. I used a roller on these two. Now I'm taking a dinner break. And we're going to finish this side on the inside and then we'll go ahead and start. I'm going to finish the rest of this after dinner and give it time to dry before I put a second coat. I used a paint spatula to remove all these rubber bumpers from the doors. 
Then I screwed the hooks into the tops of the cabinets in order to hang them from the hangers and then I used broom handles to make up that little contraption where I could spray everything front and back. I think I'm gonna need one more coat. Let me get up here a little closer so you can see. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the finish. It dries really hard, um, which is great. So it's still drying, so I'm gonna have to put when you need to wash. It really feels like it's gonna hold up really well. So I'm just about done spraying the doors as well. And I'll bring those in and begin to install. So this is after being sprayed with two coats of primer and one coat of the advanced paint. It looks really good, it covered really well, and the sprayer gave it a nice even finish. One thing that was really nice about these hangers is that they were swivel hangers, so I could spray one side of the cabinet and then turn the hanger around, which turned the whole cabinet around, and spray the other side. Worked out really well. Here's a good shot of how I hooked the eye hooks into the tops of the cabinets. These are my upper cabinets, so this little hole in the top of the cabinet won't be seen, and oh my gosh, it saved so much time. It was totally worth it. And now we get to put everything back together, which was not as long of a process as taking it all apart <laughs> because everything was marked. I did need my husband's help though to help hold things in place while I screwed each door back into the cabinet. And that's it. Look how much it's transformed our space. We really love it. It lightened everything up so much and I'm really excited to have it all completed and put back together. Thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for any other DIY stuff that I'll be putting on here a little later. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram to see some of the things that I'm building and what I'm doing now. Thanks.